Tinubu bringing shame to Yoruba. His Lagos boys are now hungry for money. Brimless. Lagos chief. Lambaras President Bola Tinubu. People's Gazette report. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. A Lagos chief, Oshode, popularly known as Balogun Eko, on Wednesday berated President Bola Tinubu over the country's economic situation and security challenges. Mr. Tinubu was inaugurated as president on May 29, 2023. Mr. Oshodi described the situation as an embarrassment to the president's tribe. Mr. Oshodi, known as known for his controversial political commentary on Instagram, said on Friday that President Tinubu's administration continued to unveil as a political setback for the Yorubas. He stated, "This presidency is becoming an embarrassment for the Yoruba people." He said, why also criticizing the president's a close aides as incompetent who could not advise the president's rights? Mr. Oshodi said that Nigerians were, were grooming in widespread hunger. He berated the president's close aides as bald boys, whom he said the ambitions and desire for rights would not allow them to tell the president the truth. The people you have surrounded yourself with does not seem to me to have brains, he said. He added, Your Excellency, if you listen to the to the grooming of Nigerians, there is widespread hunger. The bored boys in Abuja will not be able to tell you the truth. Mr. Oshodi also said, Days we are counting, saying it was necessary for Mr. Tinubu's government to produce results to the pride of the Yoruba. As he said, it was Yoruba's turn. Don't use your tenor to disgrace us, Mr. Oshodi said in the Instagram video. The chief outburst is the latest against the president. Fuji Singa uh, was sued at day recently urged the president to increase efforts in tackling poverty, unemployment, economic crisis, and Naira depreciation. So as you can see, even Tunubu's people, they are now complaining. Nigerians are complaining. Everybody are now complaining, talking about the situation of Nigeria currently. Nigerians have taken to their social uh, media platform to react. Make me hear with it and they talk. You people never know God until you respect God and his word. That is when you people will get to yourselves. When Buhari came into power, God said that he did not come to build Nigeria, but to destroy it. And now the same God has spoken again that this government did not come to build Nigeria, but to destroy it. To bring it down, Nigeria from giant of Africa to that dwarf of Africa, Ghana money, uh, safer. Is now more than Naira. Is it hunger? Nigeria are not even thinking only hunger. Bandits kidnapping the worst. Yeah, that is the truth. Thanks for coming out to criticize him. Shame will not allow those people that voted him to talk. Truth. Even though they are suffering. They are suffering partial. Hardship respect no tribal. Blame yourselves, those of you that cast your vote for APC, even though they did not win the presidential election, but INEC rigged the election in their favor. The party is made up is made up of criminals from head to toe. Continue hope prom a hope promise. Until now, many Nigerians never still know the meaning of that phrase. Hmm. Hunger not get Fulani, he not get Aosa or Yoruba. Igbo, Yoruba Mekuna, they tell on our brother to his ears that he don't, he don't day for soup. Make him not listen to those Fulanis praising him. Later, they will turn to crucify him. 
crucify him because they are Judas and the chief priest. Stupid fellow, what is this? Has to do with Fulani's reactions are getting tough. Um, now Fulani, you see, the dead is Zuzu. Okay, what does he mean by that? This Niger has conditions past uh, tribalism. That is APC government for you. We are enjoying the worst of the worst. The benefits of democracy on that president, Tenable, my brother. Be careful, though. your people will come after you because they like hearing, they don't like hearing the truth. Did Tenable make any promise that he did not keep? He only said that it is his turn to rule and all hell was let loose against non indigenous of Lagos State. Bad government knows no tribe, neither does good one does. We all are enjoying the fruits of our tribalism. He's keeping his promises. He said he will continue from where Buhari stopped. God will be our helper. <laughs> I told you that when it starts raining, it will affect both Ibu, Hausa, and the Yoruba. It has started falling now until we leave tribalism, jailers, and wickedness. And that is correct. <laughs> we shall continue with our jealousy and tribalism in peace. I beg. This one are reactions from Nigerians. So, so it be like say the hunger now, now everywhere you do. You know, they only Hausa land. You know, they only uh, Igbo land. It's still day southwest. So you see, that is the reason why when we are doing something, we have to be very careful. Yes. We have to be very, very careful. Doing the needful is important. Not just where the person is coming from. Because when the rain down, they fall. It is fall, fall everywhere. I beg, make a drop and for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comments.